start off this look, I'm going to prime my face with this Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser Primer. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I haven't used this product in such a long time just because it does make my face just a little bit oily, but my face has been drying out lately, so I revert it back to this product to close up my pores so that the product doesn't seep into my skin completely. Next, I'm going to apply my foundation, and this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade New Guinea, and I'm just applying this all over my skin with a damp beauty sponge and also blending it into my chin and my neck because, as you can see, my face is a completely different color than my neck and I want both my face and my neck color to match. Moving on to my eyes, I'm going to prime them by using a concealer and I'm applying that from the lash line to the eyebrow bone and then I'm going to set that with a loose translucent setting powder just so that my eyeshadows can blend a little bit better across my eyelid. I'm going to be taking this light brown shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and working this all over the lid and blending it into my crease. And then next, I'm going to use this Golden Eyeshadow by NYX, and I'm going to apply that directly on the lid and blending that out as well into that brown color. Lately, this has been my favorite liquid liner because it just creates such a precise wing with my eye. And for this look, I'm going to be applying a small wing. I like to do this every day when I apply my makeup just because it's so simple and it's not too much, you know? Moving on to my face again, I'm going to be applying my concealer underneath of my eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and also my chin to highlight these areas of my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and with the same damp beauty blender I'm going to lightly tap that on the areas that I applied my concealer and this is going to make sure that the concealer does not move and it's going to stay put in its place where it should be. <laughs> As far as setting the rest of my face, I'm going to take the same powder with a large foundation brush and I'm going to tap that on my skin and then dust it away just to make sure that I'm not baking too much with the rest of my face because I don't want that white cast or that flashback to happen when I go to take a photo with the flash on. I'm then going to take this eyeshadow, yes you heard me, eyeshadow, and I'm going to use this to deepen up my contour because I do not have strong cheekbones and I kind of want to create that shadow in my face so I'm taking this dark chocolate eyeshadow just to kind of create that contour line. Then I'm going to take these two shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just going to blend that into that contour color that I just applied because I don't want a strict harsh line but I want it to be enough so that you can see that I have cheekbones if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to blend that out and this is really going to warm up the face and I'm also applying that on the temples and um, my nose and my chin. I'm then going to take these two blush colors and applying that on the apples of my cheeks also blending it back in towards the contour shade because you want everything to kind of blend seamlessly into each other. There are no harsh lines here <laughs> so I'm just going to blend that out with this brush that I got from Forever 21. Taking a clean brush, I'm just going to dust away any of that excess powder that I had baking underneath of my eyes just to make sure that I'm not having that white cast on my face and to also make sure that I don't have any extra powder sitting on my face. Then my favorite part, applying my highlighter. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Big Gelato Swirl Highlighter and this is my favorite highlighter ever. I'm applying this on my cheekbones, um, a little bit on the 
tip of my nose on my forehead and a little bit on my chin just to make sure those parts are highlighted on my face as well I'm then going to coat my lashes with about one to two coats of mascara because I'm going to skip out on false lashes for today. I usually do wear lashes when I do my go-to makeup look, but I was not feeling it today. I just kind of wanted to wear my own lashes. But then I'm going to line my waterline. I almost forgot what it was called. I'm going to line my waterline with this black eyeliner from NYX. And then I'm going to do something different. And this is what I like to do when I'm doing my makeup every day. Or if I can't decide on what I want to do with my makeup. I like to apply this eyeshadow from MAC and it's called Red Brick. You guys know so much about this eyeshadow because I use it in almost every tutorial that I do. I'm applying this on the lower lash line and this is just going to give my eyes a little bit of pop of color. I actually love this eyeshadow um, and I just wanted to incorporate that into my daily makeup routine. I'm then going to coat my lashes one more time just to give them an extra lift and to make sure that they're fully extended. To complete this look, I'm going to fill in my lips using this NYX Liquid Lingerie. I'm absolutely in love with this whole entire line of nude liquid lipsticks. This one is called Beauty Mark and it's this pretty brown shade. And I'm going to coat my lips with that and then I'm going to mix it with the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. So this is going to create the perfect nude for me. Um, I actually didn't like how it looked without a lip liner. So after I blend these two shades together, I'm going to be using a brown lip liner by NYX. And I believe this shade is actually called Brown. So I'm going to be lining my lips with that. And then once my lips are done, I'm just going to set my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. And that will complete my look. So that is it. That is what I do to my face when I have no idea what to do with my makeup. This is my go-to makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I hope it gives you some inspiration on how to do your makeup as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also comment below what you want to see next. And until next time, I won't see you, but you will see me in my next video. So stay tuned. Bye guys.